right, we're in the accountant shop to measure an electric guitar. Uh, with electrics, these will be set flat on the table. This will also work for any base, anything solid body. If the headstock is angled, then it will hang off the table and the first fret over the edge of the table. But since this one has a flat headstock, go ahead and put it fully over the table. And go ahead and start here with measurement A, table to the bottom of the headstock. Be here, bottom of the headstock. And then go to measurement B, table to the bottom of the neck at the first fret. Which will be here. And then C will be to the top of the strings. Measurement D goes to table to the bottom of the neck at the eighth fret. So we'll go here, measure to the bottom of the neck, and then the next one to the top of the strings. F will be the depth of the body at the heel. Come around here. G is the table to the top of the body at the end pin. H be to the top of the saddle. So over to the side, get to the highest point here. And we'll go to I, which is the overall length. Lay out my tape measure here. Use a straight edge, perpendicular. Line that up. Come down, find the end of the headstock, and get the measurement here. All right, and then we'll do the length of the neck, which will go from where the neck meets the body to the net. And the length of the body will go from body at the end pin to where the body meets the neck. And then to L, which will be the width of the headstock that includes the tuners. We'll come underneath to get all the way out to the tuners. And then M, width of the neck at the net. N will be the widest point at the top bout, which on some electrics can be hard to find. Just try to find the widest point. And then the same for the lower bout. And P will be the measurement that if the headstock is angled below the table, to get how much it is below the table, I use my straight edge again to measure here, and then measure down from that, however low the headstock angles to.